Hello everyone, welcome to a top 12 listing of keyboard shortcuts that I use all the time in Finale 2014.5. This is not a comprehensive list of all the keyboard shortcuts that I use, but these are ones that I find myself using quite often. And uh, some of them you might use yourself, some of them you might not know about, uh, so that's okay leave a comment down below and see how many you use that I've covered and how many you haven't used before. Alright, so let's get started. Our first shortcut that I use all the time is going to be apply note spacing. Now what this does is if you do control A or highlight a doc highlight a section and you do control uh, 4 this will respace out the do uh, this will respace out the music. Obviously, this has already been respaced, so this won't show show up. But that's one shortcut I use all the time: is Control Four. Uh, the next one I use quite often is let's say you have a bunch of measures that are crammed together on one system, and you want to shift down some measures. Uh, what you can do is if you um, actually highlight. Uh, the end of a measure and press the down arrow key it'll immediately move that measure to the next system or if you move up it'll move it back so you can go one way or the other so this does work if you for instance highlight here it'll move uh, all of this uh, from all this entire section down so let me show you this Oops. so press down you see it shifts all that down. You can obviously undo that. Okay, the third shortcut is this was this one's pretty simple, but I use it all the time. This is simply uh, Control E, doing uh, different views. This is scroll view, and if you do uh, Control Shift E, this will bring up the uh, studio view, which shows you all your mixers and stuff on the instruments. But you can do Control E, and it uh, just alternates between Score View and Scroll View. This next one is going to be very useful for our people who uh, write count contrapuntal pieces or are using layers quite often. Uh, so layers is this thing down at the bottom, which uh, you can then enter in notes on the bottom or the top. And it can be very just tedious to kind of get to this palette right down here. So one way you can do that, uh, access this easily, is if you do Shift, Alt, and then uh, a number. So let's say two. You can see it changes the layer to the second layer. If you do Shift, Alt, three, third layer. Shift, Alt, four, one, two, three, four. So you can change between any of the any of those. You, uh, holding down shift alt and whatever uh, layer number you want to use this next one is uh, one I use all the time this one it's not probably that obvious but uh, scrubbing playback is simply holding down control and the space bar and then you can use your your mouse to kind of just scrub through uh, the music if you want to listen to a particular instrument, you can do Control Shift Spacebar. And you can alternate obviously between the, the whole score by holding down Control uh, uh, Spacebar and then Control Shift uh, for a single instrument. Alright, moving along. So let's say you want to uh, go to the end of the uh, of this piece. Uh, this is pretty easy. You press end, and it takes you to the next section. Actually, I'm sorry. This takes you to the next page. If I go into scroll view, that's probably it. Yeah, there it is. If you go into scroll view, and if I go back to uh, home, this will take you to the beginning. That was my fault. So again, if you're in scroll view and you press uh, end on your keyboard, it'll take you to the end of the piece. If you press home, this will take you to the beginning of the piece. 
Uh, this next one might not be uh, one that you know, maybe you do. If you're working with parts, this will be a really nice uh, feature. So normally if you want to view parts in, a, in an ensemble, you have to go to document, edit parts, and then click which part you want. But notice how you see these keyboard shortcuts right here. Well, these this is the next set of shortcuts I'm going to show you. So this is really nice if you do control, alt, and then comma. This will bring you to um, the base part. And uh, if you do uh, period, this will basically scroll through from top to bottom all the parts and including the score. Then you can get to the score by doing uh, control alt and then the uh, forward slash. There we go. All right, moving along. This next one is going to be really quite useful. So uh, there can be a lot of times when you have a lot of slurs going through here and you sometimes they don't look right and they collide. So what you would do is in order to do this, you can either do this direction, flip over, under, what have you. But one really nice thing that you can do is you can actually, if you have uh, the slur tool uh, clicked, you can actually highlight all these handles and then press F. And then it'll flip everything over. And then you can just alternate between them. And this is a really nice feature. This will uh, really save you a lot of time if you're especially working with a lot of parts that have slurs everywhere and you need to have them go a certain direction. All right. These next ones are going to be really small but very useful. Stem direction. There's going to be times when you just want stems to go a certain way and uh, you're working with layers and sometimes the stems might collide with the layers. So one way you can do that is if you highlight uh, notes and press L, it'll flip the stem. Uh, this can also happen with any of any note value, uh, except for obviously uh, whole notes and double whole notes. This will obviously not work or do anything, but you can see it works very nicely. That's a good tool. Uh, if you want to break a beam, for example, if I want to break this beam, uh, highlight a note in there and then press the forward slash and it'll break this beam as such. Then just press it again just to rejoin it so broken and connect it again. All right, we're on to our final two. Uh, the, this next one I didn't know about until rather recently, and this really, really was a nice thing I found. So if you want an inharmonic equivalent, let's say uh, you want this A sharp to be a B flat. Well, normally you have to manually you know, tinker around with it yourself. Or you can press the backslash button, and it'll change it to the, its inharmonic equivalent of B flat and you can just change it back. Uh, just to let you know, the backslash button is located above your main enter key and below your backspace key. So this, it's uh, the bigger, the, the big medium button, it's a, it's a button between those two. Uh, so you can alternate between uh, A sharp, B flat in this case. Um, just curious. So I can do this with any note. It's really cool. It's very useful. It's a very, very easy and useful tool. And finally, maybe not as interesting, but definitely very useful. If you want to hide a note, press H while the note is being highlighted, and it will uh, gray out, indicating that it is that it'll show to you on the score, but not when it's printed out. So again, you just you can just press H. This is good if you're working with layers again, and you don't want all these rests to show. So go ahead and press H, and uh, you're on your way. So that's my list of top 12 uh, keyboard shortcuts that I use all the time, and uh, hopefully these can be useful to you if you didn't know them. So I'll be making more of these top 10 videos explaining more of these, uh, more of these keyboard shortcuts, so hopefully you can stick around for that. So thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe, and I will catch you guys later.